Connor Williams, Paula Jais from South East London, Catford. I'm Yuki Hayes, I'm a multimedia artist based in London. I'm Lee May Lamal and I'm an artist from Manchester. I'm Jessica, multimedia artist from Finland, based in London. We are working with Vans and Depop to create four limited edition shoes that reflect our creativity. That was in the bag, that was like on point. All the way, man. All the way, man. Hi, Colin. <laughs> and welcome to Manchester. I'm actually from Liverpool. Yeah, there's not much going on there, so Manchester's perfect for being a creative. There's a lot of opportunities. It's growing as well at the moment, so it's nice to be asked to do all the new projects that are being started around the city. I've painted everything and I'll paint anything. <laughs> I've painted cars, giant like animal sculptures, furniture. Next I'm painting a plane, which is pretty mad. So you make art, but when did you kind of realise that you could make a living out of that? I was working for like a big streetwear company and I actually ended up leaving to make clothes. That didn't work out as well. And I ended up being homeless. I ended up breaking onto an abandoned boat and living on that. It was sinking and everything. But yeah, I was making art while I was on it and it just started selling. And then I managed to get off the boat. It's really when I realised that it was going to keep me afloat. But honestly, my dream project is always to be to design a shoe. And I'm buzzing that it's with Vans as well. You done? Cool, let's go. It's my turn now. Give me that. See you in London. Ready, ready. <laughs> Right now we're in bankrupt store. It all started when I ran into Ben, the owner. He said that I could use downstairs as my workspace. I've been skating about two years prior and then I fractured my radius wrist bone. Hurt it real bad, had to go to the hospital and get an operation. I wanted to like do something that would make me more enthusiastic when I come back. So I started collaging, making skateboards. How did collage become your main medium of like painting? I like collaging because you can recycle images that are already out there in the world using old images that a lot of people may not see. Stick it all together. Stick it all down, <laughs> man. Stick it all down. A lot of the new generation kind of go on the internet and search for images rather than like picking up a book and flicking through it. Actually taking the time to cut it out and stick it down and stuff, yeah. It was a natural progression into clothing because it's like a physical representation. You can't carry around art everywhere, you know. My first exhibition was sponsored by Depop. That was a great way to like kind of branch out and meet new people and like a new audience, you know, with the artwork. I'm gonna be selling some new Radius merch as well as some recustomization of band stuff. Yeah, man, that's it, man. I'm going to see Yuki. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. There's something that I found really intriguing in self-portraiture because it was so personal. It's really hard not to unlayer all the parts of your identities right in front of you. Whereas with, I think maybe when I was like illustrating or painting, there was always the possibility of another subject becoming a part of my influence. But self-portraiture, you can manipulate your image, but it's always gonna reflect something to do with yourself in a way, if that makes sense. You kind of can't escape yourself. What inspires your self-portraits? What I'm trying to draw upon at the moment is the side of me that is very, very in touch with a very like calm and soothing feeling and emotion, I think. It's it's the kind of place that you're brought to when you're, you know, you're next to the ocean or you're in a childhood home. It's like the feeling of security and safety that I think everyone experiences and everyone feels, like depending on where that place is or where that emotion is. The most important thing for me is being able to express that properly and I value that the most because it's a very personal and genuine experience. Thanks for showing me around and uh, now it's your turn. Let's get it. Just about to see Jazz. Let's go find her. Hey girl! Hi. Come on in! Hey! Welcome to my creative space. This is basically what's happening in my brain. I love experimenting with different materials and like colors. I love using like crayons and acrylic gouache and I love to kind of like see how they go together. To start with the inspiration of some color or shade, I don't like paint a pretty picture in my head and paint that. I just kind of like start with the feeling of like, ooh, art for me is a way of relaxing and when I feel down or sad or really doubtful about something, I love to disappear into my creative world and it comes more naturally for me to create happy, joyful, energetic artwork. 
So I definitely love to experiment with different emotions and variety of feelings with my art, and that's why you can probably see like all the faces. This project with Vance and Depop is like a dream come true already for me. Like I've been as an artist like wanting to do collaborations like this like for such a long time. So this is already I feel like one of my biggest dreams has come true. If you could choose three words that somebody would pick up from seeing your shoe or wearing your shoe, what, what would they wear? Hot stuff, laughing, rocking and rolling. <laughs> That's like five words. Oh, that's true though. Maybe you can do that again. But no, like, I like oh. that. <laughs> so what's next for you? I want to have a big creative space. Of all what I'm doing. Continue to grow. Go to Shanghai again. I want to paint in Japan. One day design my own skate park, push the boundaries and see where we can go with this. It's kind of limitless. You know?